Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, I'm Brandon, and I'm part of the team that's working on the zombie game Senescence. We've run across a bunch of hurdles in our game development journey, and we wanted to try and give back and help those that may run into the same sort of issues that we have. In this video, we're going to go over how to download and install Visual Studio for Unreal Engine, along with generating the files we need to access and compile our project C++ code. So let's get started. Before we jump into the installation, let's quickly answer a couple questions you may have. First, what is Visual Studio? Visual Studio is an Integrated Development Environment, or IDE for short. We'll use this application to view, modify, debug, and compile C++ code in our UE5 project. There are other IDE alternatives to Visual Studio, such as Rider, but we're going to stick to Visual Studio for this video since Visual Studio Community version is free and has all the functionality we need. And why do we care to access the C++ source code of our UE5 project? Well, C++ is the backend that drives Unreal Engine and your projects. While C++ can seem a lot more intimidating than blueprints, everything you see when you open up your project in Unreal Engine is rooted to C++. Sometimes you may need to view or modify the original functionality of an object whose parent is a C++ class. Other times you may need to use C++ only features, such as Unreal Engine's gameplay ability system. In any case, having access to the project's source code can be extremely useful. And a word of caution, you should be cautious about what you modify in the source code as you can break your engine or project very easily if you don't know what you're doing. Always do your research before modifying existing source code. It's always a good idea to have backups of your project in case you need to roll back. So with that out of the way, let's get started. First thing, open your favorite web browser and go to visualstudio.microsoft.com. The link is also in the description. Once you're on the home page, we'll scroll down a little bit until you see this download button. Hover over download and you'll see several options. We want the Community Edition because it's free and it has everything we need for Unreal Engine development. So we click Community Edition 2024 and it'll start downloading. Once the installer opens, you'll get a window similar to this and here's where you set up your features or workloads that we'll need. The workloads we're going to install are being pulled from Epic's current documentation at the time of this video. The link to Epic's documentation will be in the description below in case they update any of the installation requirements. Based on the documentation, for Unreal Engine 5, we will need to install .NET Desktop Development, Desktop Development with C++, Universal Windows Platform Development, which they ended up changing in the newer versions of Visual Studio. Their documentation's a little out of date. It ends up being this. And game development with C++. Once we have those four selected, over here on the right, under the installation details, we're going to look for game development with C++, and we're going to add a few optional components. We're going to need to make sure that C++ profiling tools is checked, C++ address sanitizer, Windows 10 or Windows 11 SDK, depending on whichever operating system you're using. Typically, you want to use the most recent. and the Unreal Engine installer. And then once we have the components done, then we can come over here and we can go to Language Packs. You can add any additional language packs if you wish. And then we need to set Installation Location. This will be where Visual Studio stores everything on your system. And then with that all done, we can come down here and hit install. So now it's installing. This is going to take a while. So we'll be back in a little bit once it's done. After the installation is complete, you can open Visual Studio. 
The first time you launch it, you'll be prompted to sign in, but you can skip this for now. And then you can choose your color theme, and we'll go with dark. And now Visual Studio is installed. Now based on Epic's documentation, there are some recommended settings that are on that, that web page. Uh, they're not required, but you can take a look at them and see if you want to set those up. So now that Visual Studio is installed and set up, we'll need a project. For the demonstration purposes of this video, we're going to create a new project. So to make a new project, you can open up the Epic Games Launcher and go to the Library tab. And then you can click Launch for the engine version you wish to use for the project. This will open up the Unreal Project Browser window. On the left side, select Games. And then you can choose a template if you want to. So we'll choose third person for this one. And then you're going to want to, over on the right, change the project defaults to be C++. You can change the target if you wish. And same for these other three settings. We're just going to leave these as is for now. Update your project location. And then give your project a name. And then hit create. And then this ends up launching Visual Studio. And then you'll have the source code to your project. And then that's it. You've got a brand new Unreal Engine project. And then it's a C++ project. So then you can access any of the C++ code. If you already have a project and it's you initially set it up as Blueprint only, we can make it be a C++ project so you can access the code. So to do that, we'll want to open up their project. Under Tools, we're going to want to do New C++ Class. You can choose None because the whole point of this is to just create a C++ object in order to convert it to a C++ project. So then we hit Next. We can leave it as default for class and then hit Create Class. And then this tells us that it now includes sources. So cool, that's what we need. And then it says we must recompile. Would you like to edit the code now? You can hit yes. And then this will open up your project in Visual Studio. And then this is your default class that you just made. So now in order to make our project utilize our C++ code, anytime you open your project, you're going to want to launch it through Visual Studio. And if the engine is running, while you're trying to run the debugger, you'll end up getting an error. So typically what you want to do is only run through here. I wouldn't run it through Epic Game Launcher's window. So what we're going to end up doing is we're going to close this. And then in here, we're going to hit Local Windows Debugger. And this is going to build our project. This will take a little bit. And then once this is done, our project will open up in Unreal Engine. So we'll be, this might take a little bit, so we'll come back once this is all built. And now it's launching in Unreal Engine. And then you'll see there's a project. Now we're all done. Now, if you're working inside of the engine and say you need to create a new class in the C++ code side, there's a couple options that you can do to make sure that the class data makes it over into your engine. For one, you'd modify here and then you can either close the engine and then relaunch the debugger through Visual Studio or once you update your Visual Studio side, you can come back into the engine and then down here at the bottom, you can click this button and it'll hot reload the project. 
and it'll try it'll attempt to load any of the updated project files now sometimes this will cause errors and it can act a little funky so a lot of the times if this does not work i would just close your project go back to visual studio and then relaunch it through the debugger in visual studio and then all of your new c++ classes and everything should compile and propagate correctly over to the engine and that's it you've successfully installed visual studio for unreal engine 5 and compiled your project from its c++ code with this you're now ready to start tapping into the c++ side of your project if you found this video helpful please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more game development tutorials let us know in the comments if you have any questions or topics you'd like to see next. And as always, thanks for watching, and we hope to see you in the next one.